Hello, everyone. Welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. Windows 11 upgrade. We have used Windows 11 for quite a bit time now, but for some users, they may still running Windows 10. As I can show you here, I'm running this Windows 10 in my VMware workstation, but it's the same as you are using your physical machine. You may get this notification. This PC doesn't currently meet the minimum system requirements to run Windows 11. That's because there's a minimum system requirement for the TPM module, Trust Platform module. We can take a look at the minimum system requirement from Microsoft website. You also can download the PC Health Check app to find out what minimum system requirement it is. It will have basic RAM requirement, process requirement, storage requirement. But the most important part for most of people we get in that notification is because TPM. Last year, I made a video to fix Windows 11 minimum system requirement using a Windows 10 ISO file. It's still valid method. You still can use that, but I'm looking for a simple way, even without downloading Windows 10 ISO and then change the ISO file. That would be too much sometimes for the certain users. So in this video, I'm going to show you a much easier way to use a GitHub project Windows 11 upgrade to do this upgrade by passing new Microsoft minimum system Windows 11 requirement. Let's start it. This is simplest and easiest way to upgrade your old Windows 10 machine to the Windows 11. I only can put three steps here. Go to the website, download the release, and then run the program. It's impossible to simpler than this. So I'm going to post GitHub website address into the video description. Please check that. Once you go to the website, go to the release. It's a 1.0.0 right now. So you can download the Windows 11 upgrade.en.zip file. Open file. Double click. You may be asked to extract all. Just extract all of them out. Double click on it. So you will get this Windows Protect Your PC notification, but you can run anyway. We trust it. So now you are getting this small window to show you select Windows 11 ISO file or download Windows 11 ISO file. So let's do the download Windows 11 ISO file. We're going to use the English version. Download this Windows 11 ISO file. It's downloading system. Of course, it's going to take a bit time. So we were not sitting here to watch this downloading. I will come back once it's finished the downloading. After a long time wait to download Windows 11 ISO file, we got this upgrade window. There's three options, upgrade, data only, clean install. So I wanted to do upgrade, keep all data. So I will choose upgrade. If you want to do clean installation, then the third option will be better. Or you just want to keep the data, not apps, then the second option. Um, I will try to do upgrade, keep all apps and data for my Windows 10 system. Choose install system. So it shows initializing. Please wait. We're going to wait here to see the window disappears. So another window shows up, it shows up preparing. 
Now Windows 11 setup program shows up. It's checking for update. It's going to take a while for checking update. I want to show you one thing is the Windows 11 ISO file we downloaded it under the extracted folder Windows 11 upgrade underscore EM folder. So if you're wondering where's your ISO file, you can find it from here. You can make a copy for that in the future when you redo upgrade then you can skip the downloading, just choose this Windows 11 ISO file to do upgrade. So now it's 15%. I will stop the video and come back once it's done. After update completed, you're going to start into installing a Windows 11 and your PC will be restarted a couple times and this will take a while as well. So again, so I'm gonna pause the video recording and wait it to come back. All those process are automatically. Once you started the update, you don't have to do anything. You can just wait and let it go. Eventually it will finish updating and installing the Windows 11. You will get the Windows 11 login window. You may receive this working on update message and please keep your computer on. Your computer may be restarted a couple of times. So keep waiting here until all process completed. Don't shut down your computer. After a long time waiting, finally, uh, the Windows 10 has been upgraded to Windows 11. As you can see from the screen, the computer has been rebooted a couple of times. Let's take a look at the system. It's a Windows 11 Pro version 21H2 There are some updates available to download it But for the whole experience to upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11 is pretty good Once you decided to upgrade with your apps and the data you just need to wait probably a couple of hours to download the iso file and get all updates and they install the windows 11 system it's the easiest way so far i can see how to upgrade the windows 10 to windows 11 with those uh, minimum system requirements by passing i hope this video has some useful information for you, helps your Windows upgrade. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Thank you for watching. See you in next episode.